welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome to another edition of Keep That Same Energy. Jermel Charlo trolls Deontay Wilder, but robbed Brian Castaño. Make it make sense. You see that Jermel Charlo came out and stated no excuse. Skills pay the bills. You know, when he states this, it's very interesting. He said this right after the Deontay Wilder loss to Tyson Fury. And look, if we're honest and objective about it, everything that Jermel Charlo said as far as no excuses, skills pay the bills is true. We understand that's a very true statement. Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson Fury, highly in part that he did not have the adequate skills needed to land a big shot to get him out of there. He simply didn't have the skills needed to set up that shot. He didn't have the skills needed to be able to break Fury down, and he didn't have the skills needed to even protect himself. So when Jermel Charlo talks about no excuse, skills pay the bills, it's an accurate statement. But just because it's accurate doesn't mean it should be coming from him. See, you're a guy trying trolling Deontay Wilder. These guys have had their words in the past as far as, you know, their thoughts on skills and so forth. But Jermel Charlo, out of all people, is in no position to talk about skills with anybody. I mean, when you, first of all, when you look at it, you got to give Deontay Wilder all the credit in the world for showing an enormous amount of heart. I mean, the guy fought on like a warrior, like a soldier. So I respect Deontay Wilder much more than I ever have based on that display. But with that being said, Jermel Charlo is in no moral position to talk about anybody's skills. I mean, this guy has a little bit more skills than Deontay Wilder. He's nowhere near close to being an elite boxer. He relies heavily on power in all of his fights. Let's be honest, he's not that good of a boxer, period. And he knows it. His whole team knows it. If you know boxing and you've seen him fight, you know he's no elite boxer. He relies on power heavily. He does have some skills. But he's nowhere near elite. He's not even a a top-rated boxer. He's an okay boxer at the very best. But his power is what wins him fights. Let's be honest. Not only that, we've seen him outboxed by a guy who was not an elite fighter in Tony Harrison. He was already outboxed, schooled by Tony Harrison. And he was losing the rematch, getting outboxed again until he landed a big shot with his power. Once again, he relies on power to get these wins. Not only that, you know, this guy came off of a controversial decision in his last fight where he got a draw with Brian Castaño. Make it make sense. Brian Castaño should be undisputed right now. Jermel Charlo did not deserve a draw. He deserved the loss. Let's be honest. If if you believe Jermel Charlo deserved a, a win in that fight or even a draw, you're an absolute moron, idiot, and dummy. And the IBFP is simply not for you. You're too stupid to comprehend boxing. He clearly lost that fight to Brian Castaño. There's no rooms for any debate on that. That's just what it is. He clearly lost that fight. Brian Castaño should be pound for pound top fighter right now. One of the pound for pound top fighters. He should be in the top 10 somewhere. And he should also be recognized as an undisputed champion. That was stolen from him by Jermel Charlo, the judges, and the PBC. I mean, at the end of the day, it looks like the fix was in. It was a lot of home cooking. They were in his home state. Let's be honest about it. And then another thing, Jermel Charlo trolls. You know, Deontay Wilder about skills paying the bill when he's not that skillful. What were your skills when you were fighting, uh, you know, Brian Castaño, when you were getting beat? What what was your skills then? I mean, this guy acts like he doesn't have any. You should be in the gym and get off Twitter, you moron. But not only that, when has Jermel Charlo ever fought a guy the level of Tyson Fury? When have you ever fought a guy that good? Because Tony Harrison, who beat you, was not as good as Tyson Fury. Let's be honest and unbiased about it. This guy's an idiot. I mean, think about it. Look at Jermel Charlo's last five fights. Charlo, you know, when he fought these last five fights prior to Brian Castaño, uh, you know, these guys had already been knocked out. The PBC is matchmaking him up with guys who play to his strengths, which is power to make him look good. Most of these guys, his last four or five opponents prior to Castaño had already been stopped. They had already been knocked out. What are you talking about? His last four to five opponents prior to Brian Castaño had already been knocked out. So if these guys had already, you know, took a nap in the ring, Jermel Charlo is looking for guys who have already been put to sleep before he steps in the ring. When he fought a guy like Castaño who had never lost, he had to get a robbery decision 
to even come out of there with his belt. He didn't deserve it. He lost that fight. He should have another loss on his resume. But you're out here trolling. Get your dumb ass in the gym. I mean, look, Jermel Charlo, here's a serious message. So before you start trolling people, you should probably want to get in the gym, improve your skills, so you can stop relying on gift decisions to save you. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.